in this video we are going to derive rise time so in the previous video we discussed all time domain specifications so in that we discussed about rise time rise time is the time taken for the response to reach 0 to 100 percent of its initial value so here for undamped system so for under damped system that is 0 to 100 percent so, if that is over damped system that is from 10 percent to 90 percent, if that is critically damped system, so the rise time we need to calculate from 5 percent rise to 95 percent rise. So, like that we need to consider about rise time. So, here I am going to consider under damped system. So, you know I already given um, here a video related to under damped system. So, the re, uh, response of this under damped system is equivalent to C of t is equivalent to 1 minus e power minus zeta omega n t divided by 1 minus zeta square. So, you just keep in mind one thing. So, the, there is no divided by 2 1 there is this is not whole divided by if anywhere I mentioned like that also you just consider up to here only. So, sometimes if divided by is like this do not feel this is whole divided by 2 1. So, this just up to here. So, in the equation of under damped system in the response of under damped system you are having divided by up to here only for 1 we are not having divided by and here C of t is equivalent to 1 minus e power minus zeta omega n into t divided by root of 1 minus zeta square sin omega d t r plus phi. So, this is the response of under damped control system. So, now here I want to discuss one thing that is, so this is the time taken to reach the response from 0 to 100 percent of its initial value. If it is the under damped system, then rise time is calculated from 0 to 100 percent. That means, the time taken for the response to reach 0 to 100 percent of its initial value at very first time is called as we can say that is rise time. So, here I am going to consider C of t is equivalent to if your response at rise time is equivalent to 1. Then I am going to substitute that here 1 is equivalent to 1 minus e power minus zeta omega n into t divided by root of 1 minus zeta square sin omega d t r plus phi. So, now I am cancelling these two. So, here the remaining I am writing like this. So, here you will get 0 after taking 1 minus 1 you will get 0 here. I am sending this multiplication factor to this side that will become 0. So, finally you will get sin omega d t r plus phi is equivalent to 0 you know that phi is equivalent to tan inverse root of 1 minus zeta square by zeta. So, this is phi value. For example, if sin phi is equivalent to 0, where phi is equivalent to 0 comma pi comma 2 pi comma for all values of multiples of pi. So, your sin phi value is equivalent to 0. If phi is equivalent to 0 or pi or 2 pi or 3 pi for any multiple of pi, see the value of sin phi is equivalent to 0. Now, I am going to consider this phi as pi. So, sin pi is equivalent to 0. So, in place of 0, I can substitute this sin pi. So, I am writing this equation as sin omega d t r plus phi is equivalent to sin pi. If you compare two sides, so this angle is equivalent to pi. So, now omega d t r plus phi is equivalent to pi, omega d t r is equivalent to pi minus phi. So, by this t r is equivalent to pi minus phi by omega d. We know about omega d, omega n into root of 1 minus zeta square. So, here we know that since omega d is equivalent to omega n into root of 1 minus zeta square, I am going to substitute that in place of this TR equation. TR is equivalent to pi minus phi 
divided by omega n root of 1 minus zeta square. This will be the equation for rise time for under damped system. So, here where phi is equivalent to tan inverse, tan inverse of so root of 1 minus zeta square by zeta. So, this will be phi value and the value for rise time equation for rise time tr is equivalent to pi minus phi divided by omega n root of 1 minus zeta square where zeta is the damping ratio. So, omega n undamped natural fre frequency. So, phi we are having value here. So, this is the rise time. So, you need to take this equation into your mind. So, you need to apply this equation for a different problems. So, whenever you need to find out the rise time tr then that is equivalent to pi minus phi divided by omega n root of 1 minus zeta square. Generally, you will consider under damped systems. So, this is about rise time of control system.